Hey guys, my name is Jessie Mew, and welcome back to Stardew Valley. In the last episode, we celebrated the second day of the night market, and while there weren't as many things for us to buy, we still do have a couple of new decorations to place around the house. It's kind of like a mishmash of a house that we have right now, with all of these different plants. Of course, most of them are dead since it is the winter time, so it's not looking particularly pretty in there. Oh, Sam is coming over to investigate. Hey, are you poking around our secret stuff? That's where we keep all of our cactus fruits. Oh, maybe he's hoping we're going to give him one today. Let's talk to him first, though. Do you have any big plans for the day? Well, we do have the third day of the night market to go to. I wonder if he's going to show up this time. I don't think he's actually been there yet. We haven't seen him anyways. Oh, not me. I usually decide what to do a few minutes beforehand. That's okay, Sam. Here you go. Here's your lovely cactus fruit. We know you've been waiting for this. So we have a brand new painting to hang up. This one is actually super cool. You know, it might even fit nicely in here with this wallpaper that we have. But I'm not sure if we have enough space thanks to all of our bears and whatnot. Can we just place it over here for now? Yeah, I mean, just as somewhere to put it. Though it might actually look better over the stove. Yeah, let's see if we can maybe swap places with these two paintings. Yeah, that fits much better. We just need some better wallpaper for this area, I guess. But we have to go to Pierre's for that. Now we also have this knight statue to place somewhere. Oh my gosh, and this thing looks menacing. If we had something for him to guard, that might actually be a good place to put him. And we also have this luau table too. Well, should we swap it out for our current table? It looks like it kind of has a leaf tablecloth on it. Which might look nice in here because we have so many green plants. Yeah, I might actually do that. I'm probably going to spend a couple of days just, like, actually decorating the house, moving all these things around so it's not just scattered all over the floor. So we'll leave it there for now, and I'll find a good place for it later. Because we have plenty to do today. We don't want to waste too much time with all of our chores and whatnot. Because the last time, we didn't get the chance to do the fishing at the night market. So we want to try to get there early. And we have a letter over here. And you know the suit of armor? Why don't we actually put it up here with, like, Daisy's chest? That way he'll be able to guard all of these flower seeds right alongside our little kitty. And speaking of which, we better make sure that we also place all of those extra flowers into our seed makers before I accidentally give those away. There we go. Our lovely fairy roses will be back inside the flower shack before long. But yeah, before we go ahead and harvest all of our crops, I do want to make sure that we check this letter. Actually, we should be receiving something soon from Mayor Lewis about the festival coming up. But it looks like Kent sent us one of the cherry bombs. Hello, Jess. This item was collecting dust in the tool shed. I figured you might be able to use it from Kent. Well, thank you very much. I think that's the first time that he sent us a gift. Well, that's interesting. I guess we could take that with us into the mines. And I do want to go back into the mines pretty soon anyways because that seems to be one of the best ways for us to collect those secret notes. If we go through those big piles of weeds and whatnot, we always seem to come home with a few. Do we have some more wiggly worms to dig up down here? Yeah, looks like we do. That's all thanks to the tracker skill. I probably wouldn't have noticed these otherwise. And these are also pretty good ways for us to collect more of those secret notes. I'm still crossing my fingers that we're going to find the right ones so we can take part in like that mermaid festival. I guess there's some secret note that's going to tell us how we're supposed to enter in a code. And I think there might be some worms behind our house. You see that tiny little arrow? Well, I'm not sure how we're going to find those. I think that's going to have to stay there for now. We have little animals to say hello to after all. Oh, and we can't forget that today is the wizard's birthday as well. I almost forgot that we have to go visit him. Yeah, I'm not sure if he's going to be at the night market, so we better make sure that we stop there first. That way, we won't run out of time. We'll just plop all of these items into their machines. And then, why don't we see if we have a good gemstone that we can bring him? It seems like that's always a pretty good choice when it comes to gifting things to the wizard. We had some good luck with the void eggs recently. Thank goodness it turned out that Sebastian liked those too. But I'm not sure if the wizard is really going to feel the same way. So which one of these should we go with? We have emeralds, we have amethysts. We have a bunch of the jades. I think he actually sent us a few of these, so it might be a bit awkward if we give him one of the jades. It's like we're just re-gifting his own gift back to him. Let's go with the amethyst, I guess. I think he would probably like that. 
I mean, it does match his hair. He's a very mystical and mysterious wizard, so surely he will enjoy the amethyst. Unfortunately, there's no new plants for us to harvest today in our flower shack, but we've been pretty lucky these past few days with so many different colorful plants. It might not be complete yet, but honestly, I think this is one of my favorite little projects that we've taken on a Stardew Valley so far. It is going to look amazing when the whole thing is filled. Oh, is that our pine tar? I don't think it's maple syrup. Yeah, it's just plain old pine tar. We're still waiting for maple syrup for some sort of creature that's living in the secret woods. I did place some more tappers around the place, but I guess it's going to take a while longer. And let's go ahead and pick up these worms along the way. Only roots, unfortunately, but I do see a few more down at the bottom of the screen. I don't know if we want to waste our time. I think the night market starts around 5 p.m., so we only have a couple of hours at this point, and I suppose they could be pointing toward the forgeable items instead, not just the wiggly worms. Unfortunately, we can't choose. So here you go, Maple, if you wouldn't mind waiting out there for just a moment. We have a certain wizard to greet. Here you go, Mr. Wizard. You remembered my birthday? I'm impressed, thanks. Oh, he absolutely loves us. We've been helping him out quite a bit recently, though. It takes years of study to understand the language of the elementals. To actually speak their language requires a lifetime of devoted effort. Now, if you'll excuse me... Oh, sorry, Mr. Wizard. Even on his birthday, he's still hard at work. So do we know the elementals' language? because we can talk to some pretty strange creatures around town. Like not just the Junimos, but also Krobus and whatnot. And there was that strange scene where he seemed to imply that they were part of the elemental war. So I don't know, maybe Jess has somehow picked up that magical ability too. She can talk to the elementals just as well as he can. Now let's hurry to the night market and we'll see if there's anything new on the last day. You know, I never really thought about bringing Maple straight up to the docks. That might actually help us get back home. It looks like Jody is visiting. It must be so thrilling to travel the world like they do. Oh, is she perhaps hoping that she could jump on one of those boats and see the world too? Well, it's not too late, Jody, but you might want to let Kent know before you leave. Have you seen the mermaid show? It's my favorite. Yeah, somehow I'm not very surprised, Alex. And it looks like Elliot is actually visiting today too. He lives like right up on the beach, so I'm kind of surprised he hasn't poked around before. The forest is a wonderful place. Have you been there? We certainly have, Elliot. I feel like he usually says that to us, though. I guess he's not too impressed with all the happenings around the beach. Oh, and Evelyn and George are visiting today, too. This is one of the newer traditions in Pelican Town, but we've taken to it rather quickly, haven't we, George? Oh, that is adorable. I'm just here for the free coffee. Of course you are. I think we actually forgot to grab some coffee yesterday. So we're definitely going to pick it up today. There's no use wasting any free coffee. Have we seen Harvey in this place yet? I mean, I'm sure he would be hanging around the coffee stand too. He must love it here. Oh, look at this painting. Oh, that one is gorgeous. Yes, we definitely want that with three trees. I mean, we're not going to have enough wall space pretty soon. We're really going to have to move some stuff around if we want to make enough room. Now the traveling merchant should have some new things in our shop. Pink cakes, sea urchins, poppies. All right, it doesn't look like we have anything to buy here today. All of those things we can get easily enough on our own. So the other shop that was selling new things was at this one back here. Yeah, they have new things every single day. And today it should be all of those fall seeds. So we could probably buy some fall flowers. Yeah, the fairy seeds. That's what I was hoping for. So our statue of the day is the stone owl, another garden art for our farm. And I guess I could probably go right next to our frog and... What did we pick up the other day? Was it a parrot? Yeah, I guess they would work quite nicely together then. Two birds in by our lake. Then we have this log section. I guess it's another decoration of some sort. And I mean, we might as well pick it up just because it's going to be gone if we don't. We want to have all the decorations from the night market. So we found a couple of new things to spread around the farm as well. But unfortunately, we still don't know the mysteries of the mermaid shell. So I'm not sure that there's any use going back in there. We might as well just go straight to the submarine before it gets too late. We're starting it much, much earlier than on previous days. So I have some pretty good confidence that we'll be able to catch more things. 
In fact, let's go ahead and clear out some inventory space here. That way we can see all of our most gorgeous fish. We have our bait, we have our bobber. I hope that's going to be enough. Like I didn't check to see if we have anything that would be more useful in here. But let's go ahead and start the show, I guess. Oh my gosh, I forgot it cost 1,000 gold to do this. Now, one of you mentioned that while the submarine is going down, we can actually open up this inventory menu, and it should freeze the time, but the submarine will continue to get lower and lower. So it just gives us some extra time to actually go fishing, I guess, which is certainly a big help in this special place. Ooh, look at that fish back there. Is that a little shrimp? Oh my gosh, I wonder if we can catch that too. It reminds me a lot of the midnight squid that we caught the day before. And here's our first fish of the day. Luckily, this one isn't quite as wiry as some of the fish that we found last time. It might actually be one of the ones we already have. Yep, a brand new midnight squid. But I'm not complaining because those are my favorite so far. We've also caught one of the super cucumbers. And I think one of you mentioned that the wizard actually really likes those too. Unfortunately, we already gave away our super cucumber to somebody else, so we weren't able to gift it to him for his birthday, but it's still a good thing for us to keep in mind. Oh, it's just seaweed after seaweed right now, even inside these bubbles. Jeez, maybe we don't want to go toward the bubbles then? It doesn't seem like it's really doing us any favors. I mean, I guess we can sell off the seaweed, but I would really prefer to have some special fish. There we go. This one definitely feels like it could be something new. It's a little bit faster than those lazy midnight squid. Oh no! Oh, I was so sure it was going to be a new one, and the bubbles have disappeared now too. Jeez, I wonder if we're going to find anything new today. Oh, but there's a treasure chest down there. Oh, if you could just go down a little bit further, little fish. Oh no! I was afraid that we were going to lose the squid. Alright, I know I said that I... Oh! Oh no, our fishing tackle is worn out. I think that may have been like our cork bobber or something. See, this is why you always bring a spare to the night market. Now those fish are going to be really tricky for us to catch. Yes. What the heck is that? A blobfish? Oh, I don't know if I like that. That is mildly terrifying. This odd creature floats above the ocean floor, consuming any edible material in its path. Yeah, mildly terrifying is right. I think that's enough fishing for one day, wouldn't you agree? We're ready to go back to the surface, Mr. Captain. It's getting pretty late anyways, so it's probably about time that we grab maple and head back to the farm. In fact, maybe we should do the same trick and just let our submarine slowly surface back to the top of the water. That way we won't be wasting any of our time waiting for it. Because it's actually pretty tricky fitting in all of these different things at the night market with the short amount of time that you have. So that was our final day here, which is kind of sad. This was a pretty neat event. I think it might be one of my favorites in Stardew Valley so far, just because there's so many different things that you can do here. You can go fishing, you can go shopping. And did we ever go shopping? We have spent so much gold over the past couple of days. But I'm sure that Sam would understand. Oh, you know, he actually wasn't at the night market today either. So I guess he just figured that Jess is taking care of all of the shopping for him. And he's not wrong. We did have a pretty darn good haul. So I think we're still going to save just one of these midnight squids because I love them so, so much. And I don't know, should we save the blobfish too? It's just so unique. It's so weird looking. I feel like we need to keep it in a chest somewhere. So we're going to tuck that away as well. Then we can sell off all of the other things that we found. Our pine tar, because that's not what we need for whatever creatures in the woods. And yeah, I think we should be ready to tuck ourselves into bed as soon as we pick up all of these items too. So I don't think there's anything planned for tomorrow. But I would like to see if perhaps Mayor Lewis is going to give us the letter for the Feast of the Winter Star. We're still waiting to see which person we're going to get paired up with, because we'll have to find them like a secret little gift. Last year, we ended up getting paired up with Penny, and I'm pretty sure we gave her an emerald, because those are one of her favorite gems. And I mean, now she's one of our best friends in the valley, so it's definitely a good way for us to get to know somebody. Granted, the person that we were paired up with was Pierre. I'm pretty sure that we actually still have his gift in here somewhere too, this Nautilus shell. Yep, that's what he gave us. I mean, it's the thought that counts. The Nautilus shell is pretty cool. 
Oh, and Sam made us pancakes again today. Thank you so much. Let's go ahead and give him one of his lovely cactus fruits. I did notice that our cactus plants are coming along pretty well up inside our garden pots. It looks like they're finally growing again. So hopefully it won't be too much longer until we can finally have some fresh ones to give you once more. Here's our last silver star cactus fruit for you. It's very interesting how he's spending so much time here in the nursery. Oh, this is the perfect painting to set up right alongside the other one. We can put it over here. And yeah, once we find some good wallpaper, some good flooring for the nursery. Well, I'm sure that our future family is going to love that room. Alright, so we have a letter. Let's see if this is from the mayor. Yes, I think it is. Alright, so we've read all of this before. This year, your secret friend is... Jazz? Oh, that is adorable. We're gonna find a gift for Jazz. Oh, I love that. We are going to have to find the best gift for Jazz. So what do you think would work best for her? Like, I know Vincent loves the pink cakes and whatnot, but I'm not sure if Jazz is the same. We even have a couple of these left inside our inventory, too. That is something worth noting. Why do we have goat cheese in here, though? Was that maybe for Leah? We did have that note that gave us all of our favorite things. Oh, um, maybe we should try to find a secret note for Jazz? Do you think she's written about any of her very favorite snacks around the valley? We'll have to keep our eyes peeled, and we'll definitely have to go visit her today, because she might just give us a nice little clue. So yeah, until we set up our lake for all of our statues and whatnot, we'll just go ahead and place our owl right next to all of the rest. A lovely row of very, very interesting statues. And as for this thing, like I guess this is just decoration too? Huh. Well, where are we going to put this? I guess we could just plop it back here for now with Daisy. Yeah, there's really nothing else that we can do with it. Or with Maple, rather. I always get those two names confused for some reason. Sorry, little horse. So I know for sure that Jazz is a pretty big fan of different types of flowers. In fact, she seems to like the purple flowers the best. We've given her sweet peas in the past. I'm sure that we've also given her fairy roses. We may have even given one to her when we had that big bunch from the flower shack the day before. We might as well save one of these good quality eggs out too. Since we're going to go visit Jazz, we could offer this up to Marnie as well, as long as she's actually in today. Ooh, we have the blue Jazz flowers to harvest. Excellent, two of those. And it looks like we can just pop our two fairy rose seeds straight into the ground too, or straight into our garden pots rather. I don't know, do you think she would like one of those? I mean, it does have her name in it, technically. I'm sure we've tried giving her the blue jazz flowers at some point as well. Basically, I would think that any sort of flower would be a safe gift for her, as long as it's not the poppies anyway. And let's check out our greenhouse before we leave as well, because I would like to see how all of our star fruits are growing. Oh gosh, and we have the biggest harvest of blueberries again. Do you guys think that we might have a blueberry problem? Like, do we have about 200 blueberries inside our inventory right now? I think we might have a blueberry problem, but it's going to get us plenty of gold, so hey, it's all for good reason. Now, with all of those fruits in the bin, I think we should be ready to go visit Jazz today. And of course, Marnie as well. We'll leave one of those eggs out inside our inventory. We might as well at least try the blue Jazz flower. We'll save the other one tucked away. And I guess if we happen to come across Kent or something, he would probably enjoy that fresh coffee that we picked up from the night market. So let's go down to Marnie's Ranch first, Maple. That's a pretty easy trip because she lives so close by. I hope that she's in today, though. And I hope that Jazz is going to be around, too. Usually she's pretty easy for us to hunt down, because if she's not with Penny, then she's probably just playing out by the trees. So let's see if Marnie is waiting for us. Oh, it looks like we have a little scene with Shane, maybe? It's been an awfully long time since we checked in on him. Hi, Shane. You look unusually happy today. Well, that's a good sign, right? You're right. I haven't felt this light since I was a kid. Let me guess. Gus had a clearance sale and canned beer? No, he's been getting help with that, Marnie. No, actually, I've been drinking sparkling water instead of beer and I feel great. Oh, excellent. 
Yeah, last we left him, he had just started getting help with Harvey. So it seems like it's really working out for him. You know, I sometimes forget that I really do have friends. People that care about me. And it's okay for me to rely on them. It doesn't make me weak. <laughs> he looks sharp. He really does. He's kind of like gained a bit of confidence too. I bet it's especially because he doesn't have to waste his life away at Jojimar anymore. That has to be helping as well. Hi Jazz, I've got something for you. Oh, a giant present. Oh, the feast of the winter star has come early. These are real bunny jewel slippers. Oh, that is adorable. Was it that a little hint for us then? But these are so expensive. How did you afford them? I've cut back on an expensive habit. I have a lot more spending money now. Victory is all around then. Oh, it looks like Jazz is going to talk to us now. Is she rummaging around in the trash? What are you doing, Jazz? Uncle Shane's in the barn. He said, um, uh, he said to tell you he wants to show you something. Ooh. What does he have on the barn then? He did just say that he has more spending money. Oh my gosh. Does he have blue chickens in here? That should do it. Oh my gosh, you guys, I've heard about these. So many of you have told me about this cutscene. Because after this, we should be able to get blue chickens, right? Oh no, how cute is it that? It's the perfect home for you, hens. We'll have the best eggs in the whole valley. Even better than our egg, Shane. Fresh and healthy with the rich golden yolks. Not like those pale, sickly Joja eggs. Oh, that is too cute. Look at those curly, fluffy tails. Oh, you know, Charlie, I was thinking. A guy like me is always teetering on the edge of despair. Know what I mean? But you and the other hens are going to keep me upright from now on. I know it. What's wrong? Too much pressure? Oh, that is so sweet. So he's found something to really focus his energy and attention on. And it's really helping him heal, it seems. Hey, Jess. So what do you think? I think this is amazing, Shane. And look at that. They even match our earmuffs. My special blue hens. I've been raising them in secret for the last few months. I... Well, I won't be living here forever, and I want to pass something on to Jazz. I've been teaching her how to care for them. I want to feel like I'm not just a leech in the world. I want to contribute somehow, even in a small way like this. Oh, Shane. You are doing excellent work here. You have made me so, so happy. And you know, sometimes that's all it takes to really feel like you're making a difference. Just giving somebody else something to be happy about. You like talking to me? I guess I believe you. Maybe you're as weird as I am. Oh, Shane. It looks like Jazz isn't here, though. Well, that's a little bit disappointing. Can we go into his coop? No, it's locked. He doesn't want us finding any of his secrets, I guess. Snooping around inside his coop, stealing his aches or something. We would never do that, though, Shane. Yeah, seems like everybody's out today, aside from Shane himself. So maybe we'll just have to hunt down Jazz? And we can't rule out the fact that we may have gotten a gift clue. I mean, I don't really know how bunny slippers, jewel bunny slippers, are going to give us any sort of thing to work off of. It's not as though we can give her slippers in the game. But maybe that means there's a special type of gem that she would like? Or maybe we can give her something from, like, our bunnies inside our coops? I don't know, we'll have to test some things out. See if we can figure out exactly what makes her happy. Let's see if maybe she's at the library today with Penny. I have a feeling that she might be doing a little bit of work. It is pretty snowy and cold outside, so I'm glad she's not spending too much out. She would probably end up getting frostbite or sick or something. Can you imagine being sick on the Feast of the Winter Star? I mean, I've been pretty ill on Christmas before and it is not fun one bit. It's probably the same sort of feeling. But if she's not at the library, then where do you think she would be? I'm not really sure where else she goes. Like, maybe she's playing in the playground or something? It looks like Vincent is in the backyard. So yeah, let's zip on up here and see if we can find her. 
Does she ever travel around with Marnie? I'm not sure that we've ever seen the two of them together. Like, Marnie, if I had to guess, is probably out visiting Lewis right now. Huh. Very, very mysterious. Oh, Jazz, you were having a checkup at Harvey's. Hello. Miss Penny is teaching me how to write in cursive. She has such pretty handwriting. Alrighty, Jazz, well, we have a lovely flower for you. And look at that, Marnie was in there too. Oh, a train is passing through Stardew Valley? I love presents, thank you. Well, you're welcome, and we have this egg for you too, Marnie, but then we really have to race up to the train. I wonder if Maple can take us there in time? If we pick the right way, we might be able to get there, because I'm pretty sure that things actually, like, fall off the back of it. We have seen it a couple of times, but if we're not in the right location, then it's pretty hard to see it pass. Oh, I don't know if she's going to be fast enough. Come on, Maple. We're almost there. If we just sneak past Robin's house. I wonder if she heard that, too. I saw her coming out of her door. Oh, it looks like... You're actually here? Sebastian is looking at the train. And yeah, we managed to get like one piece of stone. Really, that's all we're going to get? Oh, that's a little bit disappointing. Unless they've dropped anything else along the way. But it looks like it's just that measly little piece of stone. That's all that we managed to receive. Yeah, that's a bit of a bummer. I guess we weren't close enough to get the good stuff. Or it could just be an unlucky day. Or did you pick up everything on us, Sebastian? I should have learned how to cook. That would be useful. Oh, maybe he's feeling a little bit inspired by his good friend Sam. He's been making some pretty excellent pancakes. Now, how do we actually get blue chickens in our farm? Like, we saw those gorgeous chickens that Shane has, and now I desperately, desperately want a blue chicken of our own. Is it just something where we have to hatch a whole bunch of eggs and just hope that one hatches? It didn't really seem like Shane was too interested in giving us one of those chickens. Unless maybe it's something that we can buy straight from Marnie. She wasn't at her shop today, so we couldn't check it out. But we could always try next time, I guess. Yeah, if we could hatch an adorable baby blue chicken of our own, oh, that would make me so happy. Do we even have room inside our coops, though? I know we have quite a few animals in here, especially after our new dinosaur edition. That should be four normal chickens. Stella, of course. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, we have eleven animals so far. Could this coop house twelve? It might have been twelve. We might have room for like one more animal in here. I'll have to do some research though. I could be completely wrong after all. So hopefully in the next episode, we'll be able to figure all of that out. It is still a little bit early, but I think it's about time that we tuck Chess into bed. Oh, even Sam is still up, just staring at the plants in the corner. Are we not giving you enough to do around the farm, Sam? My day? Oh, I can hardly remember. I didn't really do anything of note, just relaxed and had a good time. Well, at least we know that our plants are probably very well watered. I guess he's taking good care of those. Aside from these, anyway. A little trash can over here, a tiny twig. I can't wait to see what they're going to look like in the springtime, though. And honestly, with the Feast of the Winter Star just around the corner, pretty soon springtime is going to be knocking on our door, too. So like I said before, let me know if you guys have any ideas for Jazz's present. But for now, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys!